welcome to another episode of Ask Brit Shits. I have a hair in front of my eye and it's very irritating. Oh, there we go. I hope you're having a rad Friday and whatever it is you do this weekend, I hope it's awesome and rad, just like you, you stud muffin, or stud muffin it. Excuse, I had the volume up on my text messaging. Today I am drinking Maker's Mark and it is good. Our first question comes from, Sorry, this Maker's Mark is making my mouth water, and so I'm worried that if I were to try to continue my sentence, I would get spit everywhere, which is not good. Emmanuel Espin. The world is ending, and NASA has asked you to pick one video game to send into a shuttle that will carry on humanity's legacy into the cosmos. What title do you select? Ooh. Now, if I wanted to start war with the entire universe, I would likely send something like Superman 64 or E.T. Um, I'm pretty sure that would be very bad, but hey, at least we could have death by extraterrestrial life, which I think would be a pretty cool way to go. Um, but if I wanted to send a game that I feel like capitalizes on the epitome of what video games can be today, I would have to pick Uncharted 4. I have, well, I already played it and completed it, obviously, when it first released, but I'm recently replaying it just because I'm in this weird limbo where Zelda's coming out in like a week and I don't know what to do with myself and no other game besides Uncharted 4 and Stardew Valley sounds good, so I'm just saying, fuck it, this week is going to be a waste. Anyway, um, and I still think Uncharted 4 is the best video game I've ever played in terms of polish and controls and cinematics and story and a beautiful game, and so I would have to say Uncharted 4 is what I would say, send over. Yeah, God, that's such a good game. That's a really good question, though. I'm curious to know what game you guys would send. Let me know. Nicholas Thiem, Thaim. Sorry, buddy, if I fucked that up. Uh, because I'm looking at my pets and how little they care that I'm gaming and instead focusing on using me as furniture, which games do you feel would most interest cats and which would appeal more to dogs? I feel like games cats would be most interested in would be games where you can kill things. So. Grand Theft Auto, where you can kill all of the humans. Um, what's that one game that got a lot of bad publicity because it's kind of a... Is it called Hatred? Oh, I don't know if it's called Hatred. It's the one where you just go around killing innocent people and it got a lot of bad press not that long ago. Um, anyway, a game like that I feel like cats would absolutely love because they just hate everything and they think we're all stupid and peons, which we are compared to them, but you know. As far as dogs go, now that I've had Reb for about a year and a half, I feel like I can speak upon this. Now Reb is like the most carefree, happy-go-lucky, ah, life is good! He's basically me. Uh, in animal form and he's really weird and he doesn't make a lot of sense He just does really strange things and I love that dog so much So but I feel like dogs are just always down for whatever and they're like yeah I'll do anything you want me to as long as you know well not as long as there's a treat involved They'll do it because they love us, but treats help right pet owners. We don't give our dogs treats for no reason, right? So for that reason, I think dogs would just be chill with like anything They would probably like ET. They would probably like Superman 64. They would just be happy to be playing it that's my take on it anyway. Our next question comes from MC MC. Oh, I see what you did there. It's capital M, capital C, then spaced E M S E E. You intelligent fucker, you. My personal nemesis of a game has always been Wrath of the Black Manta on Sega Genesis. I've never beaten it. What's one game, no matter how hard you try, you have never beat? Well, you see, my friend, I stay away from difficult games. I do not like, I don't mind challenges in certain like genres like uh, JRPGs or RPGs and action adventure in some cases, because I like the tactical like spell choosing and when to heal and when to attack and what kind of attack. That can be fun. But when it comes to like shooters or like old school, like unforgiving retro games, I just stay far away from them because I just get really irritated, really mad. And it's funny because whenever I'm playing a game and I get like irritated, like I don't even know I'm irritated, but if I'm like at a sort of challenging like spot, I'll feel my whole body get like flush and then a light, I break out into a light sweat and then I know I'm getting frustrated and then I try to like move on from that. That's just how I go, how I go, how I do. That's just me, how I work or it's the whiskey. Mm. So I don't think there's ever been a game that I haven't been able to beat because I just stay so fucking far away. What was the last game? The last game I remember trying to play that was just way too difficult was Lost Planet, I think. And I don't even know if that's a difficult game because this was in 2010 maybe and I couldn't get past like the first section 
and I don't know why, I don't remember, I don't know what I was doing, what I was drinking, but I couldn't do it. So I just simply put the controller down, walked away, and it's been, oh, eight years, and I haven't touched it since. These are good questions. You guys are, I mean, they're always good questions, but especially, because I'm really curious to know what you guys have to say about, like, what games you think dogs and cats would play, or what's a game you've never been able to beat, or if you could send one game into the, the cosmos, which would it be? Good shit, good shit, friends. Our last question comes from Justin Gibson. What makes you so passionate about gaming? We've heard plenty of stories about it being related to your family and the ones you love, but what sparks the gamer in you to have such joy and such lo and love for such a hobby? This is an interesting question because I've thought about this before and I, I can think of the reason why I love video games. I love video games for their story and the escapism it allows and the the character progression and all these cool new worlds you get to explore and like this the fantasies and all fantasies like fantasy settings and fantasies you're talking about Alistair if you know what I'm saying but as far as like why I'm attracted to video games or why I love them so much I think it's just something in me does that make any sense I mean I love them ever since I was a little girl and that was Super Mario World, and that was before there was character progression or like in-depth stories and plot twists and stuff like that. My first few video games were all Mario, Mario games and platformers, so it wasn't like they had the story elements and stuff that I love so much today. So I think <laughs> I was just kind of, maybe there's a gamer gene in all of us, but I am just naturally drawn to them and I can't, it's weird because I can't give you like an exact reason why. I mean, I can mention the things that I said earlier, you know, I love story, uh, character progression, blah, blah, blah. But other than that, like, I just, those are things I like about video games, but that's not why I love video games. I can't tell you why I love them. I just do. Does that make sense? I don't know. If you guys can relate, let me know, because I don't know if I'm sounding like a crazy person here. <laughs> All right, guys, that'll do it for this episode of Ask Brit Schult. I hope you have had a great week, and I hope you're looking forward to the weekend, and you're going to have an awesome weekend, because it's going to be awesome. I hope. And uh, here we go. You know, I wonder if there will ever be a day when I don't fuck up like this transition from questions to ending. It's just always so awkward and I just want to wish you guys like a happy weekend and like a great day. But I just suck at it. But I hope my message comes through. Anyway, have a fantastic weekend and I will see you soon. Did I do good? Was that normal enough? Huh?